that preview of Guiyang. So this is where I'll be filming today and next I'll be doing the walk and talk where I have the full footage of me going around with the camera and just kind of um, verbalizing all my thoughts while I'm walking around in this area. Um, so that's also equally interesting. And by the way, I have a series of Guiyang. I have um, 15, 16 videos total. I'm about halfway through. And so that means that you, if you subscribe, you can catch more of my Gwee Young stuff because I'll be putting all the links down below. So, um, so check that out in the future because I'll have more coming up. Nonetheless, let's get into it and show you the walk and talk. Gwee Young, China. Okay, so we're in this place that says uh, Gwee Young Fun and also says Old Gwee Young. And that's kind of the pedestrian street over on that side way over there. And we're gonna be um, kind of checking it all out because there's kind of alleys of people pretty much everywhere in this area. Kind of curious what's up with that escalator too, so we might go up there for briefly. And we even also have this plaza that we're gonna explore. And there's basically things from all the different areas. It's gonna be kind of cool. It's a YouTuber. We're young fun. So they got stuff for for kids. They got all kinds of stuff in this little square. And we're gonna go, I think I'm gonna go up that steps first because it says Old Guiyang. And I'm just kind of curious what that, what that means by saying Old Guiyang. But I have a feeling that that's just gonna be like some arcade or something. So I was gonna go up there, but it looks like it says Old Guiyang right there, right? But I think that's just uh, some restaurants. This is definitely the spot to be in Guiyang. Oh man, there's just like so much cool stuff everywhere. 
like I was gonna walk down one of the other side streets, but I guess I did. Everybody's kind of staring. Not everybody, but it feels like every time I. So there's actually quite a few things around here. So I'm just gonna meander a little bit. I just wanna see the depth of it. It's gonna go all the way down. Then I'm gonna navigate in here. kind of walk up here real quick this looks like that was all that's all food there and this whole street looks pretty interesting too if you're watching my other Huiyang stuff I went to a street called Eriki and it sounded like that was like the place to go and I realized that's not even close this is a street. I don't know even why that street is recommended in whatever I was looking at. Uh, let me see, should I keep going or should I go in? Let's, let's keep going this way. There's all these little shops everywhere in here. Yeah, it's funny because I, I, I done, I did a number of Guiyang streets and I think the first ones you wouldn't know if it was you wouldn't know this was here you wouldn't get the indication that there's something really cool like this so I'm gonna go all the way down to the end of the street now and that's still part of that food court. But we're gonna go down this way. And I just wanna see how this ends over here. So this is, uh, still has Xinyu uh, and Fun. So I guess they have a little bit of everything in this area. Including bars and pubs. Because I can see some straight ahead. Putting up a beer right there. So that was that little food area to the right. But I want to keep going in a little further. So if you're watching this video, I'm going to do more of these in this area because I still don't really have a good idea of all the stuff that's in here. <laughs> but you can also look at some of the past ones because I'll have a thumbnail at the end for those. And what kind of surprises me is there's like, it's like another little bar, Chongqing Hot Pot, West Country Bar. 
And there's another bar right here too. So this could be like a little bar street or something like that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to walk into this West Country pub. And then I'm going to walk over to the other pub. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay. <coughs> so I think this is all part of the Chongqing. So it's not a pub at all. Unless the pub is on another floor above it. Oh no, there it is right there. Drinky Drinky West Pub. Huh. Then over there is another one. So let me see. So I guess what we're going to do is I'm going to walk down a little bit more down this one, go back. But it looks like we got some pub activity and I think it is a, kind of a nightlife area too because there's a lot of police there's another drinking establishment there too pretty cool so this is a nice area so somebody's looking at the videos because they want to visit or they want to teach English here or something, do business here or something. This is what you might be, this is what you want to know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. Oh, there's a vintage clothing shop too. So, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, keep on filming. But I'm gonna end this one in a moment. Wutong Street. So I guess this is called Wutong Street. Okay. So if you want to find this street, it's called Wutong Street. So we're going to come back to the spot we started at. And I'm going to do another video in a different direction from Wutong Street. Very interesting. We young. They're really making some nice areas. I think the city seems to be changing up, changing quite a bit. And I was at some of my earlier videos walking around. I wasn't. I was kind of thinking there. It's going to be changing, and this spot looks like it's already um, house changed. And it's something really cool. That was a street that we missed, but we can see there's some, some bars in here too. It's called Bar Street. So yeah. So it's actually filled with bars. And that's one right there, Night Breeze Craft Beer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're on Bar Street right now. So um, I'm going to film Bar Street in a separate video. So stay tuned. <laughs>